it's a gorgeous uh, Sunday. I'm not actually smoking at the moment. Don't know why I brought it with me, but I'm just on the way to the uh, local um, hardware store to try and get an 8mm drill bit. I hope they'll have one. And then we'll be good to go. Morning all. I hope you are well. It's a nice uh, Sunday morning this morning. Well, it's early afternoon now. Um, I'm on the way to pick up a drill bit, hopefully, from my local store. Well, near enough for local store. <coughs> I've been battling with a pipe trying to convert it to 9mm. I tried cutting my own stem, my first ever stem, which worked pretty well until it decided to crack. Um, and I'm compiling a, a, a video of the whole process. Um, the three or four different things I tried to do to get it to go, but in the end, I'm trying to drill the original stem um, to take a 9mm filter. But anyway, that's not the purpose of today's video. <coughs> I'm not smoking a pipe, and I'm really getting on for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to talk about Jimmy Tabaki. Jimmy Tabaki, our friend Jimmy Tabaki, the nicest, warmest person on the YTPC is going through a time of sorrow, a challenge. He's lost his dear friend, his dog Lucy, a dachshund. And uh, by all accounts, you can tell if you have a look, if you haven't uh, subscribed to Jimmy, uh, surprisingly, um, I was watching other people shouting Jimmy out and I realized that I hadn't seen that video. And I couldn't understand it, but it turns out that I wasn't even subscribed. And I'm so used to interacting with Jimmy, whether it's on London Calling or whether it's just through his comments to my videos, I didn't even realize that I wasn't subscribed. So Jimmy, I am now and I apologize for not subscribing till now. But anyway, if you watch his video, um, it's heartrending. Um, it really is, is heartbreaking to, to watch Jimmy and to, you, you can just feel his pain, his sorrow. Um, in losing his uh, soulmate. So Jimmy, I left you a comment on, on your video and I will echo that and say that it's quite clear that Lucy enjoyed a very blessed life by having you as her partner. And, um, and whilst now it's very raw um, and you know all you can think of is, is Lucy, but you know, please God soon you'll replace her get a different, well not replace her, but add to her, to her uh, existence, if you like. And like I said in the video, she, she, she's not gone, you know, I think your love that you had for her will just be extended into the next, into your next dog. And um, it doesn't mean that, you know, of course, every, I've never owned a dog, so I can't really, you know, talk about the, the absolute love and companionship and bond that's created, that we've had pets, but not a dog. Um, but I can certainly empathize and I think that once you do get another dog you'll put all your love into that dog and you know some way down the line maybe you'll have, you'll have to go through that again um, I think all dog owners know that dogs dogs don't live as long as humans so it's kind of a foregone conclusion that at some point you're gonna have to deal with that um, but I think that when you're able to replace your pet you know you can't replace human beings but you can replace a pet and uh, I use the word, sorry, phone call came in. When I say the word replace, I don't mean replace, in other words, to erase the memory of the previous um, pet, but to add, to add to the previous memories and existences and consciousness. And, you know, I think Lucy, to some extent, could live on in the next dog that you have because it will become a, um, an experience which goes from one pet to the next, possibly. And seeing how emotional you are and how connected you are, I feel, I don't know, I feel that, that could happen with you. Um, so it might be a, an approach which is worth considering. Um, and I hope it certainly brings you some comfort. But in any event, even if I'm talking drivel, because I haven't had a, a dog before and maybe I can't empathize accurately. So even if I am talking drivel, I do certainly wish you all the love, all the warmth, and all the support that you can get. Um, if you want to talk, Jimmy, I'm sure we could get in touch and have a chat um, on um, WhatsApp or something like that. And if you'd like that and it would help you, then drop me an email and um, we'll get in touch and we'll talk. Um, so I wish you well. 
and um, you know that there's loads of friends you've got here on the YTPC so if you want to reach out to anybody I'm sure that everybody feels the same wish you well Jimmy all the best